Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. Today, I have something very important to show you, something that I have been working on for a very long time. Months ago, I tweeted out, send me your worst ideas, and I will make them into a Roblox game. Today, I'll be going over all the things I had to go through to get this game to where it is, but more importantly, where is the game at? And when will it be done completely? Because no, it's not done yet. It's like 90% done. If I don't set a deadline, it's never going to get done. So I'm setting a deadline today and I'm going to finish it tonight. I have set it in my brain and it will be so. My original plan was to have three separate games where I take some of your ideas, combine them, chew them up, and spit them out into something new and hopefully entertaining. But unfortunately, I only got two of them done. But hey, I have this plant that shifts back and forth endlessly, so I hope it was worth the wait. My first objective on the project was to make this, a hub world which basically connects all of my projects. So if any time I ever made a video about coding on Roblox, I could send you here, and then you'd instantly have access to all the things I have made. Where did my pants go? Oh wait, they got moderated, I forgot. And this is really all it used to be. Just an empty base plate, a couple of ideas I had down, and that was it. And you might be asking yourself, hey, how is that even possible? that it took you this long to make two measly Roblox games and a bunch of useless crap. And to that I say, let me just explain it in terms that you will understand. Da -da 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 -da. I'm just kidding. That's only half of the issue. The other half of the issue is my day consists of three things. The YouTube, the secret project, and then this. In this order of priority. And unfortunately, I would. this was just for fun. I just wanted to show you guys what I've learned. I gotta show you guys something. The secret project's not done yet. So what was it? Which game have I chose? Could it possibly be when a player spawns, they got killed to survive. You must go to Amazon and buy a 1k gift card for me after. Give it to me. <laughs> this is an amazing idea. I love this idea. Was it just a game where absolutely nothing works properly? No. Just play any other Roblox game. <laughs> was it my brother's tweet that got 300 likes and nearly ratioed my tweet entirely? Yes. Partially. <laughs> Let me explain. There was two other suggestions that were very similar to this. A base plate in which you will find a remote and when you pick it up you will use it and then a TV will fall from the sky, hit your head, then play Rickroll. I'm pretty sure Rickroll copyrighted so we ain't doing that. I can do the TV part. In fact I did do it. Oh that's interesting and there, there's a remote. How did that get here? I might as well hold E to pick up. I didn't even add a sound effect. How long has it been? I coded this a while ago. Oh I did add a sound effect. Never mind. Maybe it just wasn't loud enough. Oh, that, there it is. Yep. It's just like a, a stack of books falling. Step on Lego simulator with loud screaming and weird noises in the background, like whispering. That's a very oddly specific request. Are you all right? Oh, what's this? Another idea? But the whole goal of this video was to make games, and I felt like I couldn't really get a good enough game idea out of that. So eventually the tripping slowly transformed into sliding and then sliding into other people, making them trip that way. Very far from the starting idea, but also pretty interesting and something I feel like isn't on Roblox right now, not that I know of. And this was the first version of it. As you can tell, it barely worked. Slowly, it was becoming something beautiful. And as I got the animation down, it really started to come together. Before I knew it, I was a force to be reckoned with, as you can see from my amazing sliding animation. Sorry, my commissions are closed. <laughs> Thus, the first game idea was born. I set up a couple of ramps, and boy was I excited to make something fresh and interesting. Expanding off of this idea, I added a way for the player to gain speed as they are going down a ramp and that's how I felt like all the maps should play out. There's a ramp, you need to get to the bottom of the ramp, you gotta clear some jumps, and I felt like that would be some really fun gameplay. After I got it working and feeling pretty okay, I started to make some special effects for when you can actually knock people over. And also keeping your momentum while in the air was a huge thing and made the game feel a lot better. You could do some really cool stuff like jump out of a slide and then slide again, and it made the skill ceiling for this mini game feel a lot better. What quickly started as a simple sliding game all of a sudden now has several different maps, race statistics, uh, and checkpoints. So yeah, it took me a little while to figure out how to do all of that. It's obviously no issue for me. I'm, I'm so smart. This is the current state of the game as is. I would like to have maps that are more than just gray blocks. Until then, we have it functioning. That's really all that matters. It works and hopefully it's fun to play. And as you can see, I was in first. So that's right, I win. Not only that, but we also have little collectibles around the map that if you slide through, you will collect. And I wanna also make it so you get those little tokens at the end of each race, so you can show everybody how crazy you are. But what about the other game? I still have one left. Could it possibly be this? Roblox inside of Roblox? I bet you can't make that. No, 
it isn't that. But these two comments were right next to each other and they're kind of similar. Remake Roblox back when it was a physics engine for school. I'll remake the whole thing, guys. Just give me like another two years. No, however, I did add this slight mini game, kind of a mini game. You can rotate these. Uh, these are all UI elements. It's supposed to be emulated 3D. I don't know why I made this. I saw a really cool video on 3D game engine in a 2D game engine. You know what? I'm going to say pass. You know what? This is an entire game. You're right, guys. I can do it. This is the third game. Here it is. Did I make chess, but it's an RTS game? No, but that sounds awesome. I like RTS games. This is going in the honorable mentions, but unfortunately, it wasn't that. It was something that was requested almost nonstop, and I could not figure out why. There's just so many of them. Why? Why won't they listen? I can't make- no. No, no, I can't, no. I can't make a simulator, guys. Please don't do it. No. Stop. <laughs> Please. No. <gasps> nope. You're all wrong. I made Michael Bubble the video game. You're all so stupid. So the initial idea behind the game was to be like a developer simulator. It's like a simulator for that feeling that I had when everyone was telling me to make a simulator. It's like really cool. Trust me. At the very beginning, it was just like a button that you would press and then wire shock would go in a circle. But then I thought, okay, what if I could actually turn this into a game? I'll add a computer, I'll add a server. You send messages from your computer to the server and when it gets to the server, you get money. It's a brilliant idea, I know. And I hope this satisfies the simulator craving that everyone was telling, they, they wanted me to make it. There's like 500 comments or more on that tweet. Half of them said simulator something. So here you go. As soon as you get into the game, you're greeted by this wonderful message. Get to your PC. What are you doing? You have games to make. Go to the PC. Once you activate it, you can then make a dev name account or whatever kind of account that you want. Doesn't matter. You can name it whatever you want, I think. Once you have a dev profile, you can then log into the desktop. And I hope so far you can see why it might have taken me so long. So we have two different apps. We have the store, which opens a little browser here. Here's some purchasable upgrades. The first one being Roblox Studio. So let's purchase that. Once purchased, we can now access active games, which we don't have any, but we can make one and fill out a title, genre, and description of our amazing game that is going to generate us massive money. So we we just gotta get like a popular game and popular genre and then we post a very descriptive description so that everyone knows exactly what the game is about and then we purchase it but unfortunately i don't have enough cash i did not think this through to get the initial cash in the game what you have to do is access the computer and ping the server and once you ping the server this light beam will travel and you will then gain money when the message reaches the server, exactly like real developing. But listen here, folks, don't get too greedy because if you ping too many times, you could have a chance to generate a bug in the code. Oh no, how do we fix that? Well, first we get off of the computer and as we run up the wire, we can see exactly where the issue is. There's a bug in the middle of the wire that's preventing the messages to get to the server. Just like real developing, we have to get off the computer and go fix it. Now you guys know why developing takes so much time. Free at last to continue our progress. So once we have filled out our amazing game information, we can then start earning passive income as soon as we get active players. Any moment now we'll get, come on, active players. Come on, somebody join. Come on, why, why don't they like it? Why are they not subscribing to Frank Knight? Well, you see, the game that we just produced is garbage. It has no upgrades. It's zero out of 10. We gotta make that 10 out of 10. An amazing game. And each step of the way costs money. The upside of having a better game is that more players will decide to join. And once we have players, then we get money. It's the circle of life. Three players, oh my God, three players just joined. You see that? See the power of the upgrades? We now have three players. Look at that, one dollar. We got one dollar from three players. With these maths, soon we will, oh my goodness, we will be unstoppable. All that and much more inside the computer shop. And I will leave you guys to discover that on your own. There's a lot of content here, guys. <laughs> For example, the intern need help fixing bugs? Look no further than unpaid intern. All they need is the signing bonus. That sounds good to me. I hate fixing bugs. Well, now I can just retire as my amazing video game industry profits without my input. One slow dollar at a time. <laughs> the more active players you have, the more money you get. That's basically the whole idea of the game. I thought it was really fun and interesting, and I had a lot of fun making these wires. And they're just so pretty to look at. I can't wait for the next one to come around. 
There it is. Let's go. This game is called Easy Dev, and the other sliding game is going to be called Dropkick. And hopefully by the time you guys are seeing this, oh, there's the intern baby putting in work. Hopefully by the time you guys see this, both of these games will be completely ready to play. This one is just about ready. However, the sliding game needs a little bit more work, just a few timers and such, and maybe some pictures for the maps. I did both of the art for these games last night. I think they came out really good. But without further ado, please enjoy these games. They'll all be in the description. If you want to just access everything, then the Bandy's Lands game is the one you're looking for. Thank you guys so much for watching. I can't wait to see your feedback on the games. Please be sure to tell me everything you hate about both of them or like in the comments. Thank you guys. I'll see you.